What's going on guys, welcome back to my personal channel, welcome back to another video for you guys today. The international break is nearly over, we just got one more game of Southgate ball to try and drag through and then we got four months of Chelsea and only Chelsea to think about and the Christmas period is going to keep us filled with football so I hope you guys are excited for it as I am but in this video we're going to be talking about Olivier Giroud who could be potentially looking at an exit from Chelsea in the January transfer window. It is still a potential, there are rumours saying that he's already made this decision but I still don't think that's the case right now and the big sources are saying that Olivier Drude is still weighing up his options but we're going to take a look at what the news is saying we're going to take a look at all the varying factors that could be surrounding whether Olivier Drude stays or goes and then we're going to discuss whether Olivier Drude is actually going to stay at Chelsea or if he isn't so guys strap up if you guys haven't done so already, hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, press the bell notification button as well, and let's get straight into the video today. Chelsea are facing a battle to keep Olivier Giroud at the club for yet another season, and The Athletic has understood that the 34-year-old is definitely going to be looking to leave if his game time doesn't improve over the next few months. It does feel a bit like deja vu, this is the same sort of story that we were hearing from last year, but I don't think that it's going to be as strong for us this season as it was for us last season. Didier Deschamps has also been in Olivier Giroud's ear trying to persuade him to take a move away because he wants his player in full match sharpness for the Euros and he made the situation clear during a pre-match press conference before their Nations League match against Sweden where he said Olivier knows it, the situation he's in today cannot drag on forever. Before March, which is when France begin their World Cup qualifying campaign, he will have to find another situation than this one. And even though the last sentence could just be referring to striker getting more minutes at Chelsea before March. It's understood that Deschamps has already privately suggested to Giroud that he should think about moving elsewhere. And Deschamps' concerns are understandable. Giroud is his first choice centre forward for France, especially with bums like Luke War, Martial and lack of threat misfiring every single time they put on a France shirt. But he's barely getting any game time and he's received less game time this season than he has at this exact same point last season. And this has impacted his game time for France as well. He, with Giroud being used as a sub in two of the last four games as, as Deschamps is concerned about his match sharpness with the lack of game time that he's had this season. Despite that, he still scored two goals for France yesterday and is only seven or eight goals away from equaling or breaking Thierry Henry's record as France's all-time top goal scorer which is another example of this guy's talent at the age of 34 years old, but at the same way, it's also another reason why Olivier Giroud may look to leave Chelsea in January, because his hopes of breaking that record could be sabotaged if we continue to give him a lack of game time, which could also hinder Deschamps' opportunities to give him a chance at the Euros, which could potentially be his last tournament as well. Now, you will find it tougher to break into the first team this season as compared to last season because the competition has changed. Last season, he only had to deal with Tammy Abraham, who was in amazing form in the first half of the season, but was massively overplayed through the Christmas period. And because of that, completely lost form. He had injuries as well that we were playing him through. And it was a massive comeback for him, which is why Olivier Drude was able to usurp him into first place, into first choice striker. Same way, his only other competition was Mishi Batshuayi who was barely taking the opportunities that were being given to him so it was pretty easy for Olivier Drew to, st to stamp his claim on the starting 11 from about February and March onwards. This season though with Timo Werner coming in for 47 million and he started every single league game for us since he has had barely any opportunities. Tammy Abraham's resurgence as well has given Frank Lampard a massive selection headache even before even thinking about Olivier Drude on top. And even in some cases, he hasn't used Timo Werner up front. The game against Liverpool, he opted to go for Kai Havertz as a centre forward instead of going for Olivier Drude as well. And you could be saying I'm using this as an excuse to slate Frank Lampard. I'm not. Frank Lampard's thought process in this makes perfect sense as well. If you spend a lot of money on these players they have to play and they are going to play and they are going to take priority especially with the Chelsea youth they're going to take priority because they're a bigger long-term plan for the club. Olivier Drude, as much as he is loved as much as he is respected by Chelsea and the board the fans the manager everything he's 34 years old he's got less than a year left on his contract he isn't a part of Chelsea's long-term plans and Frank Lampard 
can't try and favour him over the other two when he's trying to build his side as well. So you can understand Frank Lampard's thought process behind this. And this is why it's a hard situation for Olivier Giroud as well. But throughout all of this though, Giroud has been the ultimate professional and Frank Lampard has only been singing his praises every single opportunity he gets. He's been saying in the media, he has been given a typically great response to train as well as possible and support the group. He is amazing around the group and that is just a fact of Ole and, and maybe not a fact of people all around the team. I can't speak highly enough of him on that side. It is part of my job I don't like. Good players, top people who are around the group that don't always play. But I have those issues. Tammy Abraham started at least half the games last season and he was one of the top scorers in the Premier League. When Oli came in, he performed very well in the restart for us, which was a huge factor in us getting into the top four. I have difficult questions to answer in selections in the team. I have great professionals, and Olivier Drew is absolutely showing that. But praise and respect can only take you so far, and Drew knows that he doesn't have a lot of time left at the top level. And Deschamps is clearly putting pressure on him to make a decision as well, saying, I never give advice, I give an opinion. At the end of the day, it's the player's decision. He has had situations that have sometimes been complicated to deal with. So, the big question is, will Olivier Giroud leave Chelsea in January? The, but the first real question you need to ask, because there's a deeper question this as well, is will Chelsea allow him to go? Because realistically, Chelsea are going to take a lot of persuading in getting rid of, of Olivier Giroud, even with six months left of his contract. Frank Lampard will not want to see his options diminish, especially with how cramped the fixture list is and the massive chance that we could have of getting injuries, because one injury to Timo Werner or Tammy Abraham, and then we would just be down to one striker. Also, in the case of bringing players in, trying to bring a player in of, of Olivier Drude's quality, who will also be happy playing third fiddle to Tammy Abraham and Timo Werner, is a near impossible task. And I think Chelsea know they aren't going to find a better striker that will, that will be willing to sit behind both of those strikers. Depending on Chelsea's position in the table, maybe Olivier Giroud won't even want to leave. If we look like really strong contenders for the Premier League title, that could persuade Olivier Giroud to stay. He's won everything in England except for the Premier League title, so that would be a perfect way for him to end his time here at Chelsea, leaving with a Premier League title if the opportunity looks like it's going to present itself to him. But if he also does choose to leave, he will have plenty of options. Inter Milan were desperately looking for him in January and are still looking for a number two for Romelu Lukaku. So will definitely U-turn and try and reignite their interest if they see Olivier Drew could be on his way out again. If he wants to stay in England as well, Spurs were interested, West Ham, Newcastle and Aston Villa all registered interest over the last year. So Olivier Drew does plenty of suitors and if he does want to go, he will still find a top quality club and honestly, he will still ball out. But if he also wants to leave, the fans ain't going to hold it against him. I think Frank Lampard wouldn't hold it against him and maybe he would relent and let him go. I wouldn't be surprised if Frank Lampard kept him as well. I'd Loki would like to keep him as well too because I do think Olivier Drew would be the type of player that you would rely on towards the running of the season. I think players like that with that sort of experience they're going to come they're going to come clutch for you in key moments towards the end of the season. Because they haven't had too many opportunities to impress. So when you bring them on, they'll be a lot more fresher. And especially with how cramped this season's been, fresh legs are going to be so vital towards running towards the running of the season. But if Olivier Drude leaves, Olivier Drude leaves as a cult hero. In what, two and a half years that he spent at Chelsea, in and out of the starting eleven, he's created plenty of memories at the club. If it wasn't the comeback against Southampton from 2-0 down back in 2018, or that goal against Southampton in the semi-final, as well it was becoming the Europa League R9 and winning the golden boot on the run to the final in Baku or the, or the little run in towards the end of last season as well where he saved our top four hopes and we would have genuinely been screwed if we had sold him in, Jan in January last year to Inter Milan as well so in a short time being in and out of the starting 11 Olivier Drew's created plenty of memories as a Chelsea player so if he leaves he leaves as a massive hero but guys let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below do you think Olivier Drew is leaving do you think Olivier Drew is staying let me know your thoughts let me know if you want to see him stay I do think we all know the answer to that but just let me know down in the comment section below anyway but other than that don't forget to like and subscribe to Carefree Lewis G take care and we'll see you soon up the Chelsea